Money creation is never neutral. It disproportionately benefits the first recipients of money, of money, governments, and it hugely negatively impacts the last recipients of money, savers in deposits and real wages. So what is going on these days in an environment in which they say that inflation is coming down is the destruction of the middle class. That is what's happening right now. We are living the destruction of the middle class through monetary and fiscal policy. Governments are raising taxes, and on the other hand, inflation remains elevated. And inflation is accumulative. When they say that prices are coming down because inflation has gone from 9 to 5%, that is not going down. That is reducing the, uh, the percentage of increase in prices. And because it's accumulative, you have to add to where it's coming from. So if you had 5% inflation on one year and 5% inflation on the other, it's going to be more than 10% in two years. So this idea that what we are living right now is a reduction in inflation is simply incorrect. What we're living is actually the destruction of the middle class via higher taxes and higher levels of, and more persistent levels of annual inflation. Remember, if I gain 10 pounds in a year and I gain another five in the next, I am not getting any thinner. And that is exactly how inflation works. If inflation was 5%, in one year, and it's 5 or 6%. The other, it is rising much faster than it should, than it could, and it certainly is destroying the ability of the middle class to save and to purchase the daily goods and services.